there you are. <laughs> Just listening to one of my favorite tunes, Cake Walking Babies from Home. Written by Clarence Williams and recorded in 1925, Cake Walking Babies is one of the hottest records ever pressed. Featuring a young Sidney Bechet and Louis Armstrong, this is one of the most famous recordings in jazz history. And though this song is performed even today, not a lot of jazz musicians know the history behind the cakewalk. Performed on plantations in the South before and after the abolition of slavery, the cakewalk was a couple's dance that evolved out of contests originally known as prize walks held and judged by plantation owners. Inspired by the European couple's dance, the Grand March, enslaved peoples would dress in their finest outfits and promenade for a prize, often covertly mocking their masters by exaggerating their movements. The winner of the contest would receive a cake for their presentation, giving birth to the phrase, taking the cake. Though the enslaved people who participated promenaded back and forth, they added twists and turns, shuffles and high kicks. All these embellishments turned this European-inspired movement into a distinctly African-American movement. You had the slave masters looking at the enslaved and thinking, they can't do this dance. And then you had the enslaved looking at this dance, looking at this European tradition and going, we're gonna add a little bit of ourselves. We're gonna add a little bit of ourselves to this movement and we're gonna make fun of our enslavers. That simple act of opposition, that simple act of protest is why the cakewalk means so much to me. It means that in the face of enslavement, people of African descent still rebelled still pushed back against their enslaver. The song Cakewalkin' Babies is an unbridled hit. It has been played around the world by musicians of every race, every color, every creed. But yet, when I listen to this song, I hear my people. I hear my people protesting. I hear my people opposing. I hear my people putting their individuality, putting their uniqueness into a movement that was part of the language of slavery. So when you listen to Cakewalking Babies, remember that people who were enslaved are represented in every note, not just because the musicians who are performing it on the original record were definitely descended from slaves, but because of the individuality and the uniqueness that the music encourages. So here's one of my favorite performances of that legendary tune, Cakewalking Babies, from a home.
Thank you. 